Welcome to episode 253 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And as you can tell, my voice is just about gone today. I am in Nashville, Tennessee, about to uh, run a live stream we've been working on for uh, several months now, our uh, year-end extravaganza. And uh, it's, it's a big deal. There's, you know, we spent a whole lot of money to put this on. It's Jimmy Fallon-style show where we have people from the automotive industry coming in and uh, putting on a full show. We have a live band, host. we're hosting it, Kyle and I, my business partner, we're wearing suits. Uh, we have the TV cams, the lights, the whole thing, the set deck. It's all ready to rock, and uh, we just really honestly been running super hard to make this happen. It's early in the morning. I got my coffee here, and we're going to have this event today. I did want to let you know, um, the reason I'm recording this show is because uh, I'm taking two weeks off. Well, actually, I guess this doesn't count as a week off. Next week, I'm taking off between Christmas and New Year's. And I just wanted to take a minute to tell you thank you for an amazing year. 2022 has been an amazing year. It's been a year full of challenges, though. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I thought 2022 was challenging, and it was. 2021 was challenging, and it was. 2022 has been a uniquely challenging year. Um, coming out of the pandemic, uh, I've, I just know a lot of people that have like gotten their wheels back under them, and a lot of the challenges of the shifting landscape in life and business have uh, have left people a little tired at the end of this year. But I also think pretty energized that um, you know good motion has been made and there's been good personal growth. I just look, you know, I follow a lot of the people in this community and Clarity Compressed community, those that I've connected with. Um, you know, a lot of the people in here are people that I've met, uh, you know, while speaking uh, around the country or while in business somewhere. And I have to say, I like to follow you on social media and check in on you every once in a while as much as I can and see you in my feed. And, you know, this community seems to have gone through some stuff. But even in the midst of that stuff, there does seem to be kind of this ray of light that tends to come through it. Um, this ray of clarity, almost, or a layer of perspective that you know helps contextualize the hard things as good things because just because something is hard doesn't mean it's not good just in, just because something didn't go right doesn't necessarily mean that you did anything wrong i believe everything happens for a reason um right now my voice is almost gone we've been rehearsing hard but my family's just been sick for like the last two weeks it feels like and you know and then traveling and trying to get the show on it's easy to think like, what could I have done differently? What should I have done differently? And I think it's always good to reevaluate, you know, your habits and, you know, your health habits and sleep habits and routines. But in the end, the, the getting sick and the challenges, and, and I know some people in the community have had uh, injuries, uh, business failures, these things happen in life. And these are the real differentiating factors on whether or not we grow. It's the hard things. And, you know, we talk about this here a lot. It's the hard things in life that make us grow, not the easy things. It's the, the transaction of growth. Growth costs something, and that cost usually comes in the form of personal pain and personal um, the requirement of personal fortitude and really a sharpening and a strengthening of the vision that you have for your life, for the lives of your family, the people that depend on you, and the things that you want moving forward. And it tends to be the hard times that sharpen those visions and push us to, to get more clarity and more perspective and be more resolved on the other side. So as we close out 2022, we just have a week, about a week, maybe a little more than a week left. I wanted to leave with you with that for the last episode of this year is that may any hard time, may any struggle, may any challenge that you faced through 2022 and perhaps are still facing as you roll into 2023, may it be something that actually sharpens your focus. May that friction be what gives you the perspective and clarity you need to make 2023 a year of purpose, a year of trajectory, um, a year of refined vision for your life and the lives of those around you. May you lean into serving other people while you seek to improve yourself, not improve yourself at the expense of other people. And I hope to see you back here in 2023 because it is uh, just a, a real joyful part of my life to get to spend these few minutes with you every week. And I appreciate you being here. And I hope you appreciate one another to know that there is a community of people on the same journey that when we do meet and when we do cross paths on social media, we all know we got each other's back. I will see you next year.